my channel. Today I'll be taking you through a classic red lip tutorial right here. Okay, with this we are going to be doing a very soft neutral eye because we don't want too much happening on the face and we want to keep the focus only either on the eyes or on the lips and in this case we are going to be keeping the focus on the lips so we are going to keep the eyes really really soft and neutral we've not used anything harsh there are no harsh lines there's no cut crease nothing of that sort the focus is just the lips and the idea behind this is also that you don't want um, you know a nice bold eye plus a red lip or a bold lip because that is you know you're drawing attention to almost everything on your face so we want to avoid that and keep just one feature in focus all right so this is what we will be doing it today also this is my first ever youtube video i just hope you like it please also forgive the awkwardness in the video and i will see you soon let's get started okay i'm going to start with hydrating my face using max fix plus and i'm going to spray it all over my face let it set for a minute okay, next i'm going to moisturize using uh, clinique's dramatically different moisturizer it's for oily to combination skin since i have an oily t-zone okay for my foundation i i'm going to be using a makeup forever foundation this is an hd foundation it's a full coverage foundation um, uh, since we are looking for a dewy finish we are, i'm going to mix a mac melon pigment with my foundation to get you know a bit of a dewy finish to my skin i'm going to take two pumps of my foundation just make sure there are no harsh lines and you know you've blended the foundation really well okay we're done with our foundation we'll start with concealing the face now i'm going to be using a mac studio finish full coverage concealer in shade nw30 and I'm going to be using a concealer buffer brush by Zoeva. It's number 142 to conceal underneath my eyes. Now let's get to the eyes. I'm going to start with a MAC Prep and Prime. Sorry, something fell down. Okay, MAC Prep and Prime in shade light. I also use this uh, um, you know eye primer called painterly that's also by mac that's also an amazing eye primer i'm going to put this eye primer all over my lid area going up to the brow bone and i'm not using a brush to do this because using a finger is also absolutely fine okay and eye primer is very very important because this is you know something that is going to hold your eye makeup it'll help it's going to also prevent creasing out of the eyeshadow to achieve this look we are going to do a super neutral eye and uh, i'm going to be using a morphe brushes eyeshadow palette that looks like this it's in the shade 35w which is 35 warm this is how this palette looks and the shade that I would be using is this one. This color is also going to be my transition color. I'm going to using MAC 224 brush. I'm going to apply this all over my lid. Going a little bit up to the brow bone. And I'm also packing it in the crease area. Using Max uh, 217 brush, I'll be using this color right here for my crease. I'm going to put this color in the crease area, starting from the outer corners of the eye. Blend it well. Okay, using a darker color in the crease area will add a lot of depth to the eye makeup. So it's very very important that you use a nice crease color. And of course blend it well. Back to my 224. 
I'm just gonna blend everything nicely. For my lids, I'll be using this color right here. Using a 232 Zoeva classic shade of brush. A little bit of this product and packing it on my eyelids. In case you want to intensify the color, you can also use MAC Fix Plus, wet the brush and use the eyeshadow. Let's do this and see how it looks. I'm using, I have the eyeshadow of this brush and using MAC Fix Plus to just spray it. Put it on the eyes. Going back to my MAC 224. Blend this well. Okay, and to just deepen the crease area a little bit more, I'm going to go back to my crease color right here and deepen it a bit more. Here. Just the outer corner of my eye. Okay, depending on how you're feeling, if you want to line your eyes and give it a cat eye look, you can use a nice uh, black eyeliner. I'm not going to use a black eyeliner because I want to keep the eyes really soft and natural and I want to put the focus only on my lips because they are doing classic red lip. The eyes. I'm going to use eyelash curler. I'm going to curl my lashes. I'm using Benefit Day or Real Mascara. Now to do the lower lids of my eyes, I'm going to use I'm going to use the same palette. I'm using this color, which is a bit more darker than what we used on the upper lids. I'm going to take a small real techniques brush and just smoke it out. There's nothing very precise on my eyes right now. Going from outer corner to the inner corner of the eye. A lighter shade to just highlight the inner corners of my eye, and I'll be using. You can use any color that you want, anything you know uh, that's that's shimmery, anything that's frosty. I'm going to use the same color that I've used right up here. Just highlight. Anything. Now that we're done with that eye makeup. I'm going to put on some nice and sexy lashes. I'm placing these lashes very, very close to the lash line. Okay, now that we have our lashes on, this is how it looks like. Let's do the brows now. I'm using a sleek makeup eyebrow kit to do my brows. And I'm using this powder, my powder color right here. You can always start from here, from where your brows start. But I prefer to start from here so that you can actually build it over. So we're done with our eyes and brows. Now coming back to the face, I'm going to now bronze my face using a L'Oreal Paris Glam Bronze. This is a lovely bronzer. I'm just so in love with this bronzer. Look at this color. It's amazing. Using a fluffy stippling brush, I'm just going to swirl it over. Just the extra off. And slowly go over the sides of the forehead, in the hollows of your cheeks, all over your jawline here, on your chin, a little bit on your chin. Blend it up nicely. I'm going right up here, the sides of the nose. Contour it. Now I'm just trying to blend this out. Very soft motions. Another thing that I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to highlight my under eye area using a MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer in shade NC42. This is the shade is a bit lighter than my. 
you know skin tone so I use it to highlight the underneath eye area I'm using the same concealer buffer brush and I'm using this translucent powder which is in shade NC20 I'm just going to take a little bit of this powder The reason I'm not powdering my entire face is because we, you know, we, we look, we're looking to do a, a nice, we finished look. So I'm only powdering my under eye. Okay, so now the next thing is to highlight the face. I'm using Max Soft and Gentle. This is an amazing highlighter. I'm just so in love with this. I'm going to be using a fan brush to apply this highlighter. Right on top of my cheekbones bridge of my nose a little bit on the forehead too my cupid bow a bit on the chin that's highlighting I like to use the blush after I've highlighted my face and I'm using Max Copper Tone Matte Brush I'm using a Sigma F15 brush to apply my blush. I'm using a very soft hand to use this brush. I want to do the lips now. It's the color that I'm using is a retro matte called Riri Vu. It's by MAC again. I think it came in a limited edition collection and I don't think it's available anymore but you can buy a similar color it's called Ruby Woo that's also a, you know, a very beautiful color by MAC I'm not lining my lips I'm using the color directly okay guys here's the finished look I hope you like it if you do please give it a thumbs up and put your comments down below I'll see you soon bye